I want a dollar meal, five rodeos, five che rodeos? cheeseburger, okay. uh, two chicken sandwiches, two small drinks, and give me a large uh, Dr. Pepper. 11.48. Thank you. We didn't even think about a healthy eating because we used to think everything was healthy. Thank you. You too. Thank you very much, Theo. Now that I know that the food is really unhealthy for us, I feel guilty giving it to my kids. But we don't have time to cook because we leave at 6. We don't get home until 9, 10 at night. When you have only a dollar to spend and you have two kids to feed, Either you go to the market and try to find something that's cheap or just go straight through a, a drive through and get two small hamburgers for them. And Okay, here, eat them. This is what's going to fill her up, not that one single item at the market. Look at the broccoli. It's too expensive, man. What did you want to eat then? First, check to see how many are there for a pound. Okay. That works. Why not? You'd only get like two or three. No, we're here. Come on. You can find candy that's cheaper. You can find chips that are cheaper. The sodas are really cheap. Sometimes you look at a vegetable and say, okay, well, we can get two hamburgers over here for the same amount of price. Why is it that you can buy a double cheeseburger at McDonald's for 99 cents and you can't even get a head of broccoli for 99 cents? We've skewed our food system to the bad calories and, and, and it's not an accident. I mean, the, the reason that those calories are cheaper is because those are the ones we're heavily subsidizing. And this is directly tied to the kind of agriculture that we're practicing and the kind of farm policies we have. All those snack food calories are the ones that come from the commodity crops, from the wheat, from the corn, and from the soybeans. By making those calories really cheap, that's one of the reasons that the, the, the biggest predictor of obesity is income level. Over the course of human history, we were struggling to make sure we had enough food and enough calories for a sizable percentage of the human race now. The problem is too many calories. The industry blames obesity on a crisis of personal responsibility. But when you're engineering foods, you are pressing our evolutionary buttons. I mean, the fact is we're hardwired to go for three tastes, salt, fat, and sugar. These things are very rare in nature. Now sugar is, you know, available 24-7 in tremendous quantities. We're, we're eating hundreds of pounds of the stuff a year. This diet of high fructose corn syrup and refined carbohydrates leads to these spikes of insulin and gradually a wearing down of the system by which our body metabolizes sugar. My husband's diabetic. One of my main concerns is he can lose his sight um, he, he does get into some, sometimes his shaking, so I'm afraid that he's going to start not being able to drive because that's what he does for a profession. We have to consider his medicine. What is it, $70? 50 pills called him about $130. But he's on two different types of pills, 100 and something for one pill and then 100 and something for another. That takes a lot of our income away. We're really tight from either paying for his medicine to be healthy or buying vegetables to be healthy. So which one should we do? It's hard to see my 